All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a screencast in Ubuntu Linux. Now, this is my dual boot laptop. I actually made a video on how to dual boot your Windows machine uh, with Windows and Ubuntu. And I'm currently running Ubuntu 10.10 .10 Maverick Meerkat 64-bit on this computer. Now, there's a couple of options out there for screencasting, one of which is XVidCap, which is a program that I tried to use first, but I couldn't get it to work because I couldn't get it to actually record sound, and that's a big deal. So I moved on to GTK Record My Desktop, and that's what I'm using right now. Now currently I have an option selected which is Follow the Mouse, which if you look around you can see me moving my mouse and it moves along the desktop. I'm going to show you how to use that. Now the first thing that you want to do to install this program is go down to Applications, or actually go up to Applications, and go down to Ubuntu Software Center. Click on the Software Center and it should open up. And here we go. Now what you want to do is go to the search box up here and type in GTK Record. And it is actually the first selection here, Desktop Recorder. So I already have it installed on my computer here, but I'm just going to show you how you would install it on your computer if you don't have it installed already. Just left click once on Desktop Recorder, and you'll see over here in the lower right hand portion of that selection is a remove button. In your case, if you don't have it installed on your system, there will be an install button there instead. So you want to click on that and it will install on your computer. It's just one click and you're ready to go. Now there's another program I want to show you on this which is called WinFF. So you would look it up the same way you look this one up. Just type in WinFF and there you go. I also have this installed on my computer here. Again, to install it on your computer, you would click the install button here, which is a remove button since I already have it on the computer. So you want to install both of those programs. Another program you might want to install if you want to actually edit this video that you're making is Kden Live. So you would look it up, K-D-E-N, and it's Kden Live. It's the first selection here, and you can install that. Kden Live is a somewhat larger program, so it would take a little bit longer to install but it's again same situation a one click on that so those are the three programs I'm going to show you right now now in order let's just close out of the Ubuntu Software Center here and in order to use them once you install them they'll be right in your applications area here so go up to applications and go down to sound and video and you'll see that they're all there the first one is desktop recorder now this is what's going to allow you to make your screencast and that's what I'm using right now so I'm going to show you how to use that and then we'll move on to the next program. So you want to click on Desktop Recorder. And as you'll see right here, this is the window that you get. Now I'm just going to explain a couple of things about this program before we get into it. Up here you have a video quality which is defaulted to 100% and a sound quality that's defaulted to 100%. I'm going to use that because I want the best quality possible in my video. The next button down here is an Advanced tab. I'm going to click on that and bring it over here. Now you can see there's a couple of options here. You can, uh, there's a files tab. I pretty much use a lot of the stuff that's that's default on here, but there's a couple of things that I've changed here for this screencast. Uh, the next tab here is performance. Now it defaults to 15 frames a second. I put it to 12 frames a second because I'm running on a Core i3 laptop and it's 2.4 gigahertz per core but still I'm having difficulty doing a full screen screencast. That's why I'm actually using the mouse over screencast here. So I drop the frames per second on here. I don't use encode on the fly because you would only use that if you had this on a very powerful PC. Uh, I use zero compression. Again, that saves resources, so it doesn't compress it as it's recording it. Quick oversampling, what that does is it just as you can read there, it says this option, if enabled, will cause the program to require less processing power, but it might make the colors look a bit more blurry. I have that selected. I haven't seen a great reduction in quality by using it, but it allows my computer to handle the screencasting a little bit better. And then full shots in every frame, that's recommended if you're doing 3D windows on here. Now the next tab here is sound. Sound, I use everything that's default on here. I don't touch it. 
I'm actually using the mic on my laptop. If you had a separate external mic or you're using a different kind of mic, it would show up here and you could select whatever you want there. And then miscellaneous here, everything is normally clicked except for the follow mouse, which I have clicked and I have enabled here. Okay. Now the other parts of this record my desktop program are the desktop window up here. This shows you everything that you have on your desktop here and this allows you to select what area you want to record. Now it will default to a full screen screencast and if your computer is powerful enough to handle that then you should use that. Um, but you can actually use what I'm using which is a selected area so you can just select an area in here by holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse around to see what area you want to actually record and that area is highlighted in red so if I wanted to record this area up here the upper left hand corner I could do that and as you can see it's highlighted in black here and I'm actually moving it around with my mouse here okay now you also have the option of selecting a window here so if you had a program that you wanted to screencast or a browser window that you wanted to screencast you would click on select window and then you would double click on the top of that program bar up there and then it would select that window and it would screencast that in and of itself so let me actually just show you how you would do a screencast on this you would go up to applications you would go down to sound and video you would go to desktop recorder and what you would want to do the first thing you would want to do is click save as because this is going to create the file path where you're going to actually save your screencast so put in whatever you want to put as the title and then you can save it wherever you want I like to save things to the desktop because it makes it a little bit more easy for me to manipulate things that way so you can save it anywhere that you want I do the desktop and then you would click save that creates a file path then you would either select the window that you want by manually dragging it up here or you would select the window here or you would do a full screen screencast and then you would click on the record button now in the upper right hand corner of your screen here this square here is a stop or a pause button and you only get one of these buttons per screencast so this is the screencast I'm actually doing right now and this is the screencast test I'm actually just showing you here by bringing up that record my desktop window so let me actually get out of the this record my desktop quit out of that one and just use the one that I'm doing the screencast in now as you can see there's a square here a red square if I click on it it would stop or pause the recording if I had the red ball still there it would actually enable me to start recording of a screencast at that time so what I'm gonna do now that's how you would do a screencast or a recording of your screen in record my desktop now the next thing I'm gonna show you is WinFF alright the next part of this process is converting what I had just recorded now what I had just recorded just a second ago is this screencast.ogv now the OGV file is not something that's gonna work with Caden Live which is the program I'm gonna to use to edit this video so what you need to do is you need to convert it now one way to do that is with WinFF which is the program we downloaded earlier now just to get you up to speed here I tried to convert it using WinFF and it wouldn't work because it didn't have the proper codec and it turns out that the program that I tried the other screen capture program XVidCap screen capture the one that I can't get sound to work with actually has a codec in it that will allow WinFF to work so if you're having problems with WinFF working converting your your file then you might want to just go to the Ubuntu Software Center and go and download XVidCap and just install it I'm not going to use XVidCap like I said because I have the sound problem with it but it did allow me to download the codec that I need to make WinFF work which is kinda of weird but hey it works so what I'm going to do what you need to do is you need to go to applications sound and video and just open WinFF okay and you present it with this screen here now it's pretty easy to use 
it's just going to encode a video that you have into another format. So what you want to do, I want to take this screencast.ogv and I want to add it in. So I just click add and I'm presented with this window here. Select video files. I'm going to go to the desktop here, double click on that and then double click on screencast. And it added it in here. Okay. Now the output details, this is how you're going to convert the file. You want to convert it to AVI okay there's several options here but I'm gonna select AVI and then the device preset I'm gonna select as MS compatible AVI there's also several other ones you can use but I'm gonna use MS compatible AVI now the output folder I wanna dump it back onto the desktop now I already have it selected here but I'm gonna show you how you do it you just click here and it brings up this window here select directory and you wanna double click on desktop and then hit open down here and then you're ready to go now the next thing that you need to do is real simple you just want to hit the convert button so just to recap you have the file that you started with here screencast.ogv you want to convert it to AVI in an MS compatible AVI and the output folder back onto the desktop so we're going to click on that and you get a terminal window over here and that is WinFF doing its thing, re-encoding the video file. It might take a little bit of time since this was a couple minute video, like a six minute video or so. So I'm going to let this do its thing and then I will see you on the other side of that. Alright, it's done encoding so it didn't take too long to do that. I'm just going to click off of this and click out of here and as you see right here I now have a screencast.avi file here. It's the same file as this, only encoded as an AVI. So the next step in this process is actually to open up Caden Live and edit this video. So just go up to Applications, go back down to Sound and Video, and we're going to open up Caden Live. says welcome this is the first time you run Caden live this wizard will let you adjust some basic settings you will be ready to edit your first movie in a few seconds so we're just gonna hit next here and next again video standard please set your default video profile let's see if I can just click next on this yeah all right, uh, additional settings, default folder for project files, home, tech harvest, Caden live, that sounds good to me. Just go through this, go through the defaults, hit finish, and there we go, that's Caden live right there. So we are going to actually, normally what I do is I edit my videos in Sony Vegas on my Windows PC, but for this video, I'm going to edit it in Caden live, and you will see the result well, you're seeing the result right now while you're watching it. All right, so here we go. We have Caden Live opened, and I actually have two files to add to it. So I'm actually editing this video that you're watching right now as I'm making it. I've never done anything like that before. Anyway, this is the first part of the video, screencast, and then this is the second part of the video, which covered WinFF and opening up of Caden Live. So we're going to drag and drop these into Caden Live. We're going to drag the first one in, and it made the first selection in there. And then we're going to drag the second one in. So now I have two clips in here that I'm going to edit together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this being the third clip in, and I'm going to do a little editing in this program. I wish I could show it to you, but um, it would be too long to do to do in time lapse. So I'm just going to do some editing, put this thing together, and then I will film the final part of it and then add it in and then you will be watch you are watching what I'm editing right now. So I will see you in a couple minutes then. So there you go. There's a finished product or actually almost the finished product. I edited 3 videos together. I spliced them together and you see them right there with the title and all and I'm actually speaking on the fourth segment which I'll have to tack on to the end 
And then I have an outro, which I actually recorded from the visualizer on the media player, which is right here. I don't have my regular graphics and all, and my regular wipes from my, my other computer, but it's really interesting and cool to work on Linux and produce a video on it. So this is how you create a screencast in Ubuntu Linux. And it pretty much does it for this video. So, well, wait, one, one thing. I'll show you a little bit of the beginning of this video. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a screen. Not that you haven't seen it before. I mean, it was the beginning of the video, but I think it's just kind of interesting to end the video sort of the way I began the video. So that's pretty much it for this video. I will see you next time.